Uh, guys, congratulations on the film and uh, inclusion in the festival. It must be very, very ex uh, an exciting time, I'm sure. Uh, Philida, for you, I mean, this is a, it looks like a fantastic film. We've seen bits and bobs, but what was the genesis for you to get involved with this film? I mean, it looks extraordinary and has such an important uh, story to tell. Yeah, I mean, Claire and I were working in the theatre together and she showed me this uh, first screenplay and I was completely blown away by it, but I wasn't thinking at that time, I'm gonna to get to direct this. I was just looking at it as a friend for feedback. Um, and then uh, one day I heard somebody who'd been looking at it saying she's written a role for a, a great movie actress. And I thought, yeah, herself, and thought I'm gonna do this and make sure that that's what happens, that she gets to play her own, her own role. Yeah, I, I mean, Claire, for you, I mean, uh, obviously it's something that's very, very personal to you and a story you wanted to tell, but how excited have you been for the reaction so far, but also that people far and wide are going to get to see this movie through through the festival? Yeah, I feel so excited. Um, I'm really glad that it hasn't stopped the film coming out, like the general condition of the world. And um, I think I'm just, after like a good few years on the journey, it feels like this is the nice bit where you just get to go and here it is <laughs> and see what people think. Um, but I just really, yeah, I, I already feel the attention coming down my phone, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's just buzzing, <laughs> buzzing, buzzing. So it is a bit remote at the moment, but I do really look forward to uh, hearing and seeing reactions in person and hopefully getting to attend one or two screenings myself. So yeah. yeah dying for it <laughs> fantastic well francis lee just said the same thing that he lives remotely but he's getting the buzz of his phone that's where the buzz is coming from <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for his film. Uh, so claire i mean the question for you is i mean why this story why why now did you think now was the the, the time to tell this because it's a story that seems to be so pertinent to to the times even before you know what's been going on this year well an ironic thing is that i actually thought of the idea in its initial uh like bare form back in february 2014 and I actually thought it might run out of fashion by the time I make it. And it turns out that actually it's, it's going to do OK because <laughs> there's still uh, very pressing issues that people can relate to in the film. But also it's just a really um, it's a great hero's journey, I think. And it's just about anyone's personal journey when they're trying to become the hero of their own life and go out of victimhood into owning their own place and accepting themselves. So. I think in that sense, it was probably always going to be a bit of a classic hero's tale or hero's journey. But the setting of it, uh, I never I never quite realized that it was going to hit so many buttons. And uh, now at this time, especially, I think there's a lot of things in the story that people relate to. You know, there's a lot of uh, courage and, and change and community. And uh, and I think people might really enjoy something about that at this time. Yeah. And Phyllis, if you as a filmmaker, I mean, uh, obviously there's lots of reasons for you to get involved as well, but how important is it, was it for you to tell this story, to tell the story now and to tell it in a way that was kind of, I guess, accessible to, to so many people? Yeah. I mean, there's just something, there was something so urgent about not just the story and the need to put um, the state of affairs up there on the screen, but to somehow stay really close to Claire in her need to sort of bear witness as she was to the experience that so many people were going through. And it was just such a, you know, it almost wasn't like um, shooting an actor, an actor. It felt at times that what was happening in front of us was actually happening. Um, and so uh, that, that sort of, it stripped away a lot of the self-consciousness in the shooting, I think. It was just get, get close to her, stay close to her, and watch what happens. And I knew from the theater what a sort of, what a mind blowing actress she is. And um, so, yeah, it's, it's been a, a real privilege. Yeah. And just, I guess, as a final question for you both, obviously the, film, the London Film Festival has been a great kind of jumping off platform for so many people, particularly British filmmakers and small films, independent films. Obviously this year is very, very different, but they've managed to put together an amazing uh, list of films for us all to, to watch at home and to enjoy. How privileged do you feel to be part of, of that uh, illustrious list and to be part of this illustrious festival? Well, I think everybody on, on the film, everyone connected, the actors, the crew, everybody feels so 
proud and humble to have been chosen knowing that um, you know there are only a very few films that are going to be shown live but also the opportunity to have it shown nationwide which just feels really right um, for the movie with its sort of sense of community and, and inclusion. Yeah I mean I, I really echo that and I also I feel very lucky because they also supported us the BFI supported us in the filmmaking and I remember how vital that was at that point. And I just feel very lucky to be part of it. And um, they also used um, a line from our film to explain the great community there is in British film. When we were in Sundance at a gathering of like film uh, people from the, the British lands, you know, on a Sunday morning in Sundance. And they used our quote about the Mehel, the community. It's an Irish word for community. And they just have made me feel certainly so much part of their community. And I just hope that I can attend, <laughs> but I don't know if I can because of the current climate. And um, yeah, I'm truly, truly honoured to be part of this programme. Fantastic. Well, listen, thank you so much for your time. I look forward to maybe speaking to you again once I've seen the film and uh, good luck with, uh, with it. I hope it goes fantastically well. Thanks a thank lot. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks so much.